The opening weekend of a local theater festival ruined by vandals. Now cast and crew are scrambling to repair the damaged outdoor set. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock live in Redlands now with reaction from the organizers of the theater festival. Nicole. Well, the work they do at this outdoor theater truly is a labor of love, and that's why it was so upsetting for everyone there to see this set destroyed. It's a hidden gem tucked inside historic citrus groves. But unfortunately, vandals set their sights on the Redlands Theater Festival over the weekend and destroyed pieces of the outdoor stage right after the first opening night performance since the start of the pandemic, which also coincided with the theater's 50th anniversary. You know, from the highest of the high to the lowest of the low emotionally. It's like someone came into our house and tore it up. It's weeks, months of work and they just went to town on it like it meant nothing. And the careless crime spree is going to cost this mostly volunteer based organization about $25,000 to fix. I don't think they cared. I, I honestly, I think it was kids that um, don't have any respect for anything. Redlands police are investigating to see if there's any evidence of who did this, but the theater company does not think their cameras caught them in the act. We haven't heard. We did invest. Uh, we fundraised for a camera for the police department, um, which was supposed to have been monitored, and we don't know if it had been monitored. In the meantime, they had to postpone one of their performances. But theater people are tough. It takes a lot to get us to not perform and get a show up. Volunteers have since pieced parts of the set back together. They're hoping the vandals will have to pay for what they did, but the community isn't waiting around for that. We raised over half of our goal, and the outpouring of support has just been incredible and humbling. The Redlands Police Department would like to hear from you if you have any information about that incident. Now, the theater company does have an online fundraising account set up, but you can also support them in person by showing up to see one of their shows. Reporting live in Redlands, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.